Would you please welcome the Deputy Mayor of the Windsor Caribbean Shire, Larry Whipper. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to also acknowledge the traditional owners of the, or the custodians of the land that we're meeting on today, the Gundagara people, and to pay my respects to those elders past and present as well. Look, I'm going to be short and sharp. I know it's getting hot and I, I notice that a few people are succumbing to the heat. So my message is very simple. Like other people here today, I'm very concerned. And if cockatoo coal or Hume coal or planet gas or anybody want to establish, want to establish a, an advisory group and they're looking for local advice, that local advice is just go away, take planet gas, take Leichhardt with you and leave our, our our Shire. You're not welcome. Not welcome at all. We've heard a little bit about how some councils have been selling out their local communities. Well, I can assure you this council is different in that sense. We've got very, very strong commitment to the local community and there are four councillors that have turned up this morning, including myself, Councillor Arkwright, uh, Councillor Jim Clark and also Councillor David Stranger. Our Mayor, uh, had he not been overseas, he'd be here as well and he'd be speaking as strongly as we all are this morning. We just can't tolerate uh, this sort of exploitation of our land, of our kids' future. I, I think about it and, and what sort of picture are we creating for the future of our children? Imagine a world where our children are fighting for food, thirsting for water and gasping for air. What sort of world? Is it's more like a, a picture of Dorian Gray. I think we can do much better in terms of putting together a picture of the future for our children. Now, our council have established a community coal reference panel. We're very serious about engaging with the community. We're very serious about people power. Throw politics aside, forget about it. I, I guess this unholy alliance that you can see here today proves that the foe is really a common one. It's beyond politics, it's beyond uh, individuals as well, it's beyond egos. The foe, the threat, the fear, the beast is clawing at our door. There's no doubt about it. Now, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to stand there and let it eat its way into the, into the bowels of this shire? I mean, it's ready to eat the guts out of our community, the life. The, 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 it's frightening. It's incredibly frightening. Uh, our, our wine industry that's just growing, our tourism industry, our farms, our water. For God's sake, we, we supply so much water to Sydney. Our groundwaters here are so rich, so rich, but so vulnerable as well. All the science I've seen can't convince me in any way, shape or form that any activity mining in this shire is not going to have an impact on our groundwater or our surface water. It's a lie. And as we've already heard, Hume Coal have already started, their, uh, started the journey in the shire based on deception. Very deceptive right from the beginning. And they think we're going to sit down and just accept that. Forget it. We're not that stupid. We might be the country, but, you know, my God, we're not bumpkins at all. We really know what's going on, and we're sick to damn death of it. And our council are very, very resolute in the fact that we're not going to give in, not without a fight anyway. Now, God forbid that would ever change, but at the moment, our council, the majority of them, support the stand against mining in this shire until there can be conclusive evidence and science that there's not going to be any impact on our land or our water or our future. We took a, um, recently took a resolution to the local government state conference uh, that's got 150 plus members and it was unanimously passed and that is that we call upon the O'Farrell government to prohibit any mining activity until such time as there's clear conclusive evidence that there's not going to be any impacts from mining on our water or our land. Now we stand by that, we're very, as I said, very resolute on that and we will, won't, won't give up the fight until we, we get some sort of message back. Now we've been assured, we, I've lobbied hard along with the Southern Highlands Coal Action Group and we've been in to see ministers and we've rattled, um, rattled the chains, we've knocked on doors and, and we've become the beast at their door. And um, I'm intent on, on sort of continuing to claw until they hear us. But we have been assured that the aquifer interference policy is only weeks away, at least the draft, and we will get an opportunity to have an input. The strategic land use policy, which should be synced to that as well, is in, in the making and it's not too far away. So, look, 
Just in concluding, we call upon the government to appoint an ind oh, and just on that, the independent council have been also invited to sit on this independent supposedly panel water advisory group that's being established by you. It's not independent, not at all. And although council haven't got a formal position at the moment, I'll be lobbying hard my councillor colleagues to ensure that we don't sit at the table until such time as there is a truly independent water advisory group. It's critical that, that we have that. Now that panel should be independent, it should be independently chaired and it should be overseen, I believe, by the Office of Water. Without that, it's just a lie, it's just a con, and what they're trying to do is use this community and council as a puppet to legitimise their bastardisation of our, our, our shire. Not going to happen, not going to let it. So we call upon the government to appoint an independent panel, independently chaired and coordinated by the Office of Water. Any plan needs to be in, in harmony with the aquifer interference policy and the land use policy as well. And what we're asking is that mining activities be prohibited until such time as those policies are in place and we can be sure that there's going to be no damage. We will not in any way accept any threat to our land, our water, our future, or more importantly, our children's future. Hopefully that message is getting through to Macquarie Street. If not, my God people, speak louder. Thank you.